Hello everyone, Diamond Lager here, and I'm going to get something out of the way right now. People who say, oh, better late than never, are assholes who can't get anything done when they're supposed to. That being said, better late than never, right? I understand that this review is really late, but I was on vacation with my family in South Carolina, so I wasn't able to get the review out when I wanted to. So, to make up for this lateness, I will not just be reviewing Suicide Squad, I will also be talking about the Justice League trailer, and how I feel about the direction that the DCEU is heading. So right off the bat, I want to say Suicide Squad is being destroyed by critics. It has a 20-some percent in Rotten Tomatoes, and that shocked me when I first saw that. I was like, how could it possibly be this bad? I'll be honest here. I liked it. I didn't love it. I felt like it had some problems, things that could maybe be improved in future movies or sequels or whatever, but I did enjoy the movie. There are a lot of aspects of this movie that I feel worked really well and that I think that future DCEU movies should take into account. Also, because I'm getting this review out so late, I think it's okay to talk about spoilers. That's your spoiler warning. Now, the first thing I really liked about Suicide Squad is that it doesn't take itself super seriously. You know how Batman vs. Superman, it was taking itself so seriously that it forgot to have any fun whatsoever? This is not that. This movie has a lighter tone, for sure. It doesn't take itself super seriously. This movie takes itself just seriously enough that you buy it, but without it being just humorless and boring. This movie also is the most comic booky of the DCEU films, because Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman try to create a dark, realistic world for it to take place in, so any overly comic bookish elements just seem out of place. Meanwhile, Suicide Squad, I felt, created a world that seemed somewhat realistic and grounded, but still embraced the bizarreness of comic books. One last thing I feel that Suicide Squad has over Batman vs. Superman is that the characters are so much better here. You know how people looked at the Batman vs. Superman and Justice League casting and they just felt, that is a terrible idea, that is a terrible idea, most notably Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor was a terrible idea? Suicide Squad doesn't really have that. These characters are pretty much all well cast and well acted. The one that really stands out for me is Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie is perfect as Harley Quinn, exactly how Harley Quinn should be in a movie. She's pretty much ripped straight from the animated series. It also helps that she's more or less the main character of the movie, so she gets the most development. It's her and Deadshot that get the most development, and Deadshot was another character that I personally grew attached to because his backstory of having a daughter and wanting her to not see him as a bad guy, that I felt was a good story for him to have. This goes for the rest of the cast, too. Viola Davis was perfectly cast as Amanda Waller. Even Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang is good. Jai Courtney! You know, Terminator Genesis, Divergent, that crap. Yeah, he was good in this movie. Now, at this point, you might be saying, Gee, Mr. Liger, you liked the tone, you liked the humor, you liked that it's all comic booky, and you liked the characters. This movie must have been great. Mm-mm. No, this movie has some problems still. And unfortunately, it has some of the same problems as Batman vs. Superman. And here's where I want to talk about the fact that I'm worried about the direction of the DCEU. Like Batman vs. Superman, the last act has this big CGI thing that the team needs to fight, and I'm sick of it. It sucked when Batman vs. Superman did it with Doomsday. It sucks here when they do it with Incubus. This movie also, like Batman vs. Superman, has extraneous plot threads that I feel either shouldn't have been in there or you could have done more with. Like, the Joker is in, like, five minutes of the whole movie. Yeah, you know, the Joker isn't in much of the movie. That is baffling to me. Like, I feel like the Joker should have been the main villain, because Jared Leto actually does a pretty good job as the Joker, but he's not in the movie much. He mostly serves to fill in the backstory of Harley Quinn. And their scenes are good, and I wanted more of scenes like that. Another problem with this movie isn't really the movie's fault, it's just sort of symptomatic of superhero team movies in general. There are pretty much two main characters whose backstory you actually get filled in on, like I said, Harley Quinn and Deadshot, and because of that, the rest of the team doesn't get much development, with the exception of El Diablo, who is, you know, the heart of the team, he has the most sympathetic backstory. Aside from him, none of the other members of the squad are filled in much at all. You get little hints of their backstory at the beginning and at other parts of the movie, but for the most part, they're left undeveloped. Slipknot was a total waste. He is just there to be killed. If you've ever seen Batman Assault on Arkham, he fills the KG Beast role of just being there to show that Amanda Waller means it when she says that if they defect at all, 
that they'll have their heads exploded. This is something I'm worried about with Justice League, because you know with Justice League, Batman and Wonder Woman are going to be the main characters, Aquaman, Flash, and the others are not going to get that much development, and I don't want to see that. I want, I want to see the characters actually develop. Civil War handled this pretty well. I don't see why DC can't. At this point, I'm just worried about the future of DC Comics movies, because... Man of Steel was okay, but not great. Batman vs. Superman sucked. Suicide Squad was good, but not great. I'm worried about these movies, because I love these characters. I want to see them on the big screen, but Warner Brothers or DC or Snyder or whoever is just not handling them very well. I feel like if either Wonder Woman or Justice League next year are not great, maybe they should just cut their losses and stop with this cinematic universe, just start over. Which brings me to how I feel about the Justice League trailer. There's not a ton to talk about, but overall, eh, the color palette is still dull gray. Ezra Miller is probably going to be fine as the Flash. Jason Momoa is an odd choice to for Aquaman. Cyborg's design looks like shit. And there's, you know, lots of humor in the movie because DC got so scared of people's response to Batman vs. Superman that they're like, oh, the next movie needs, like, lots of humor, like a Marvel movie or something. But, you know, humor helps. It's not the reason that marvel is doing well is because they have a tight universe with compelling stories suicide squad does give me some hope that this movie universe is heading in the right direction but i'm still worried i see suicide squad as dc heading in the right direction because even though this movie does have problems overall i thought it was enjoyable i liked this more than batman vs superman i liked this more than x-men apocalypse so i think it's worth seeing also this movie seems to be more popular with audiences than critics like much more popular with audiences so you will probably enjoy it so those are my thoughts on suicide squad and the future of the dceu i hope that dc improves in their future cinematic endeavors but i'm very worried especially with Zack snyder still at the helm so here's hoping that wonder woman and justice league are as great as we all want them to be take care everyone